Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you're having yourself a wonderful day. In today's video, we'll be uh, reacting to Daud Kim's new video, which is titled "I'm uh, Sorry." This video was suggested by Julius. Julius, the Julius, thank you very much for taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestion. For those of you who are new and who happen to come across this channel and this video for the first time, I'd like to take a moment and welcome you guys to the channel. I upload videos every day. So if you like the content as well as the channel and want to be part of this journey, then please consider subscribing to the channel and turning notification on so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. Stay tuned guys, we'll be right back. Welcome back guys, we're going to get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end. With that said, we're going to get started with our first video of the day. Assalamu alaikum, I am Daud Kim. Alaikum assalam. I read a script to avoid mistakes. Please understand me. First of all, the apology I posted before was very wrong. I didn't give any consideration to the victim. I contacted the victim and talked. And I realized how terrible I was. Everything the victim said is true. I will not make any excuses anymore. It's true that I was drunk, but this can never justify the crimes I have committed. It was me who drank alcohol and it was me who committed the crime. This has left them terrible trauma and horror for over a year. I'm very sorry for the victim and her friend. I will ask for forgiveness all my life. This is entirely my fault. But the victims are suffering tremendously from my fans. For a year, they got a lot of harassment. Some people even send them death threats. They are scared to even post their face or personal location anymore. So please, please stop secondary harassment to them. It is me who has sinned. They are not. Please don't blame the victims. What they said is true. And they are not liars. Please stop harassing them and please delete videos posts, or any comments that blame them. And please, to the YouTubers who support me, please don't do that. I am not a hero who has right to be defended, but a sinner to be blamed. And don't attack YouTubers or Muslims who have been negative to me. They thought of me and gave me a fair criticism. I never blamed them. Rather, thank you for taking the courage to criticize me. Also, if someone who had interviewed with me feels that he's offended by my mistake and want interview video to be deleted, please feel free to me. Also, I apologize to my Korean Muslim brothers and sisters who have already been suffering with prejudice against Islam in Korea. Because of me, the image of Islam has been worse. And the no. sincerity of the Korean Muslims' faith is now being questioned. I'm really sorry. All the faults are with me. However, Islam is totally innocent from my errors. So please blame me, not Islam. And next, I will talk about my rumors. I confess, even after I became a Muslim, I did a lot of bad things. Don't, 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 don't. I drink alcohol, 
Uh, why are you saying this? And went to a club. Why? And hang out with girls. As a Muslim, I did a lot of things I shouldn't do. I even sometimes met girls through dating apps. And even when I went, and even when I went abroad, such as Turkey or Indonesia, I did that too. And in the process, I hurt some girls with my wrong words and actions. I'm so sorry. Also, as a YouTuber, I considered profits and fun more than Islamic consideration. Also, I preferred making more interesting contents than studying Islam. Also, I was arrogant because of my popularity and tried to pretend to be a good person in front of the camera, even though I'm not a good person. Even though I know it's very wrong, I've committed so many sins. I repent to Allah and I'm sorry for disappointing those who supported me. And and I got married three years ago. And I have a son. But for many reasons, our marriage life was not very happy. So currently, I contact her only when I need to see my son. I couldn't tell this because she takes her and her son's privacy very seriously. Until now, she doesn't really want her privacy to be revealed. So I beg you to protect them. I am a sinner, they are not. Please. And once again, I'm sorry for disappointing you all. I make sincere, I make sincere repentance to Allah and try to become a better Muslim from now on. And I will take my self-reflection period, keeping low profile for enough time. I will fully reflect myself, pray, and repent in this period. So I will be self-sufficient for a while. I will fully reflect, pray, and repent. Thank you for watching my video. Wow, guys, uh, I wasn't expecting that he's gonna go into so much details. I haven't uh, seen this video. I had seen his other one, I think, which was a before this one, and I commented to that too. But I didn't uh, want to share or react to it because I didn't want to, you know, put that video in there. But you guys suggested this one so i wanted to react to it this is my thought um on brother daoud kim i hope brother daoud if you're watching this please have a seat so you can hopefully listen to what i have to say in this situation um some of the mistakes that you made for example that were, were prior to islam once you took your shahada basically you were born again so all your previous sins were forgiven so you started with a clean slate. You don't have to worry about the past. Second of all, you were drunk, for example, you said, and something happened. You know, I understand you're taking accountability and saying it's your fault. It is your fault for drinking, but you know, you can't put blame on yourself what happened when you were under the influence of alcohol. Even in some countries when, for example, people are so drunk that they don't know what's going on. And if they kill somebody, the law actually lets them go because they say they're not 
they weren't there because of the influence of alcohol. So just my opinion, you know, I understand there were some circumstances. I'm just trying to say, I don't say it was okay, but I'm just saying don't blame yourself so much. Take accountability, you know, make things right. But, you know, there was some fault more of with the alcohol and whatnot. But like I said, this was in your past. So whatever you had done, you shouldn't worry about it, right? And the second of all, you sharing what you had done when you took your shahada, it's not necessary, brother. It's between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, because people are going to listen to it and they're going to judge you for, for no reason. And I'll, I'll say it first, uh, some of my brothers and sisters in Islam are so easy to jump and uh, try to basically uh, go into conclusion and, and, you know, attack people. And as I continue your video, I don't want you to do any harm to yourself. You know, take it easy. It happens. Just you need to basically take it as a something positive you know everything that happens in life to us is something positive i know you're in this situation right now and thinking how could this be positive right everything is falling apart but six months a year from now when you're much closer to allah you're going to realize you know what it was for my own best because i lived this negative things that were x y and z right and uh, the reason i was saying you don't need to share it because there's a hadith that uh prophet said that the worst people are those who go at nighttime sin and then during the day they share it with other people because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has covered it for us we just need to keep it that way and we just need to repent and ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness i want you to be strong brother don't worry inshallah everything will be okay all of us are sinners nobody in this world is perfect the only thing is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala covers it so not it's not in front of everybody the reason for example that some of the things that you had done in your past came out is because you are an influencer and you know more people for example heard about it because alhamdulillah you have 2.28 million subscribers but like I said everybody's a sinner take care of yourself as long as you have a good connection between yourself and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with your family uh, that's all that matters you know just try to make uh, good with the past leave it behind do as much as you can and you know the future is new so don't worry about don't take your past with you try to rebuild every day that's all that matters because every single day is a battle for us so that's what uh, my advice or my um, basically reaction to your video was I hope uh, you can listen to some of it or if you do uh, watch it take uh, positivity from it because I don't want you to feel bad. I know it's, it's, it's a tough situation, but you know what? It happens to all of us and we just need to basically get up and continue uh, walking. So thank you very much, guys. If you guys can, please share it with Dawood so he can hopefully uh, watch this video and maybe feel a little bit uh, better. If you guys liked it, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you like me to react to another video, please put in the comment section below. As always, thank you very much, guys, for all your, uh, your love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. Inshallah, see you guys in the next video. Take care and wassalam.